Time is 5.30. All is meeting to order. If you'll all join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call for tonight's meeting. Councillor Holden is in Birchdale and Mayor Droba is taking a well-earned vacation. First item on the agenda is to approve the agenda. We do not have any additions or deletions, so I will take a motion to approve the agenda. So move. Second. Motion by Councillor Deach, second by Councillor Buller. Buller, sorry. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the motion. Aye. Aye. And I will vote yes. Motion carries, 3-0. Next, to approve the minutes from the Monday, October 17th, regular city council meeting. Move to approve the minutes. Motion by Councillor Buller. Second. Second from Councillor Deach. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. Aye. I will vote yes. Motion carries, 3-0. Next, we will move on to the payment of claims. City of International Falls, transfer from the 101 General Fund from the 812 Lodging Tax Fund in the amount of $744.89. Accounts payable, City of International Falls claims in the amount of $1,060,631.42. Airport Commission claims in the amount of $16,916.30. Airport project claims in the amount of $65,753.21. Total accounts payable claims of $1,143,300.93. Chair will accept a motion to pay the bills. So move. Motion by Councillor Deach. Second. Second by Councillor Buller. Any discussion on the accounts payable? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. Aye. I will vote yes. Motion carries. 3-0. Audience, at this time we will take a comment from the audience. Anybody online care to comment? Mm, we have a no audio comment. Okay. Give that one second, see if we can get that fixed. Can you hear us now? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. All right, luckily you haven't missed anything. So, okay, audience, no comment from the audience, public hearing, nothing, opening bids, nothing there, old business. We will move on to the consent agenda. We'll get caught up here. Okay, consent agenda. We will approve the 2023 license renewals as presented. Uh, City Administrator, do I need to read the license renewals or can we just go with those? Not necessarily. Um, just to outline that they are restaurant, um, any license that does not include uh, liquor or tobacco. Um, that's the, what is on the consent agenda. You know what? I'll leave that at the count. Should I? Do you want me to read them? No. No. Nope. Okay. All right. We'll just. We'll just leave that be. If anybody uh, needs those, they will be in the minutes that will be approved at the next meeting. Uh, we will accept a letter of resignation from part-time patrol officer uh, James Kennedy, effective October 26, 2022, and accept a letter of resignation from patrol officer Ryan Stenson, effective November 12, 2022. I will accept a motion on the consent agenda. Move to approve the consent agenda. Motion from Councillor Buller. Second. Second by Councillor Deach. Call a question. Aye. Aye. And I will vote yes. Motion carries 3-0. Reminder, there is no discussion on consent agenda. New business. Request, request the approval of the year 2023 license renewals that may include tobacco and or liquor applications as presented. Council action. Those, those license approvals, would you like me to read those? No, no. Okay. I would accept a motion on the license renewals that include 
uh, tobacco and or liquor. So move. Motion by Councillor Deach. I'll second that. Second by Councillor Bullard. Any discussion? Just to note that there are 11 on there. Anybody interested in looking at it? Okay. All question? Go ahead. All right. I will vote yes. Motion carries 3 0. New business. Resolution approving the State of Minnesota Joint Powers Agreement with City of International Falls on behalf of its city attorney and police department and authorized signatures. So Minnesota Joint Powers Agreement to authorize the agency SWIFT contract number 220580 Minnesota 0360118A. Am I going to hand this over to uh, Chelsea or to Mr. Schmuck? It's got Chelsea's name on it. Okay. All right. Uh, Miss Nelson, would you like to take this? Yeah. Can you hear me? Absolutely. The floor is yours. Okay. So this is basically, it's going to allow me to take over e-charging. So as of November 1st, I started taking the new city criminal files. Um, part of the formal complaints requires e-charging, and I just need this approval um, so that I can start doing that. And I, I emailed Betty some of the context documents that should be in your packet that just kind of explains that. Okay. Betty, is this just one single motion then? Yes, approving the resolution, which in turn authorizes um, the agreement and the amendment. Um, subscriber amendment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would accept a motion at this time. Move to approve. Motion, motion. motion. motion by Councillor Bullard. Second. Second by Councillor Deach. Any discussion? Hearing none, I will call the question. Aye. Aye. I will vote yes. Motion carries 3-0. Thank you, Chelsea. Okay, moving on to approve the police chief's recommendation to hire Keith Magler as a part-time patrol officer, effective November 8th, 2022. Part-time. Part okay, I'll accept the motion. So move. Motion by Councillor Deach. I'll second. Second by Councillor Buller. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. I, I will vote yes. Motion carries 3-0. Board. And with that, then we will adopt a resolution for a para de declaration for Keith Magler, part time patrol officer. So moved. Motion by Councillor Buller. Second. Second by Councillor Deach. Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. Aye. And I will vote yes. Motion carries 3 0. Moving on, consider State of Minnesota contract DPS SFM Hazmat PT fiscal year 23 to 24 for hazardous materials. Uh, hazmat response team effective November 1st, 2022 to June 30th, 2024, and authorize the mayor and city administrator to execute the contract. I assume that is with you, Chief Manasa. Any comment on that? Sorry. We dealt with this about a month ago. We're under emergency contract for the month of October. They were slow on getting the uh, uh, on the contract side through the state on getting the contracts out. So this contract, even though it's dated November 1st through June 30th of 24, uh, it would effectively take date, take uh, effect at the time of signature. So tomorrow we would take over that. So they made provisions to basically cover us for the seven days of the month that we were not uh, under contract. So um, this is no different than the contracts we were under before other than they are aligning with the fiscal year of the state now. So previously those contracts ran uh, October 1st to September 30th. And then uh, there was two parts to that contract. So on the fiscal side, we had to turn in fiscal financial data from October 1st to June 30th to meet the state financial year. And then July 1st to September 30th to meet the other part of the contract. And it was a convoluted mess. 
So now what they did is they realigned those so they work on the state fiscal year. So you'll see these go um, after this cycle now on June 30th of 2024, it'll, it will always run July 1st to June 30th for whatever respective amount they approve those for. And this has to do with uh, State Fire Marshal's office taking over from Department of Homeland Security. So state agency taking over from the department. So with that, we will accept a motion. So moved. Motion by Councilor Bowler. Second. Second by Councilor Deach. Any discussion? Hearing none, call a question. Aye. Aye. I will vote yes. Motion carries 3-0. Uh, with the council's uh, blessing, I can we skip to, since we've got the chief up here, can we skip over six real quick and go to seven? Since it's the EMT, as long as we've got the chief up here at the dais. So I'm going to skip over six real quick and go to seven, which is approved the advertising for and offering an emergency, me uh, emergency medical technician class through the International Falls Ambulance Service, as long as I've got you up here real quick. Uh, yes, and I, I apologize. I did not print that off. Um, it is very similar to what we did last year. We just want to advertise. Uh, we have some prospective um, students or candidates interested in having a class again. So as long as our numbers meet up, which I believe is a minimum of seven for what we're charging for the class, uh, we are covered financially on that. We pay uh, one of our paramedics, I shouldn't say one, one runs the class, but we our staff teaches it so as long as we have that minimum of seven for what we're charging for the class we will break even which is all we're needing to do we'll cover the cost of the class and uh hopefully by early to mid summer next year we could uh potentially approve some passing students from that class to to uh join our services i will accept oh sorry Bye, May. thank you also on the memo from um, Chief and uh, the HR director is we would, we would also, you know, we adopted the reimbursement fee schedule for um, students that come out of the class that put in time on our service. And so we're asking that, you know, just to, just to update and to put it out there that we will be offering that same agreement as that was approved for previously as well. So I would accept a motion with that. So move. Motion by Councilor H. <laughs> Second from Councilor Miller. Any discussion? No. <laughs> I just want to say it's it's a good deal to uh, to not only get the education, but then to help get it paid for. Plus, it helps fill the roster. So and uh, oh, I apologize. I didn't vote yes. So, no, this is the discussion. We haven't voted yet. So. Okay, I'm going to call a question. I, yes. I will vote yes at this time. Motion carries 3 0. Thanks, Chief. Sorry. It's, he's not I'm the next one. So. He's, on number eight. he's on number eight, too. So there we go. So we'll consider a renewal of the maintenance contract with Striker Pro Care Services for the four Physio LP15 monitors. Yes, uh, just very briefly. So we run uh, Physio LP15 monitors. Uh, Physio was bought by Striker a few years ago. Um, unfortunately, your your hand is a little twisted behind your back here. So we have to have maintenance done on those monitors. They are the only ones that do the maintenance. They do a uh, services contract. So we, we actually do run two pro care services contracts through the ambulance service. One is for the uh, physio monitors. Another one you'll see in the future is for these stretchers and stair chairs. So those are two separate contracts. This one is for the physio monitors and it is due to be updated. So I would ask that we approve for that maintenance uh, contract and we should with that. Chair will accept the motion. So with uh, Councilor Bullard. And second. Second for Councilor Deach. Any discussion? Point out though that is that is an annual fee, right? For what it says uh, it's annual or two year. I think it's annual. I think this one is annual. I think the other top here it says yes. we just annual ship and purchase. Uh, it's been a few years, right? Yeah. But I did, wasn't it on a if I remember correctly, wasn't it like a two and a two or something? Then we lined them up. Yes, uh, it was a good deal though. Yeah, the monitors when we originally bought them, they we 
if memory serves me correctly, I think we got two of them paid for through the Helmsley grant. One and a half paid for through the grant, something right. like that. But so now they're all lined up. Yeah. Yeah. Any other, any further discussion? All oh, question. Aye. I, I will vote yes, motion carries through as well. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Okay, we will go back to item six. Consider approving the statement of work agreement with Municode Civic Plus and authorize the mayor and city administrator to execute the agreement. City administrator. Thank you. Yes, this agreement is currently, they are just changing their format of billing. Instead of billing us per page when we do an ordinance update and we need them to update the electronic copy on Municodes for you know, the general public to look up, the easy for us to look up, they're all on our website. They're just doing a different billing process. So they needed everybody to sign off on changing over their billing. And if we do this and we set, schedule it for um, January, we get a 20% discount for the first year. And then they indicated that their rate increase will be, I believe three or 5% each year thereafter. And they took an average of what we had used. That's how they determined our annual billing was our five-year average. So it's, it's within reason. So I would ask that we would approve that change in their billing. Chair would accept the motion at this time. So we move. Motion by Councilor Beach. Yeah, I'll second. <laughs> second, <laughs> Councilor Fuller. Any discussion? I bet it is. <laughs> Any discussion? Hearing none, call the question. Aye. Aye. I will vote yes. Motion carries 3 0. This is it. Number nine, set the canvassing board meeting for 4 p.m. on Monday, November 14th, 2022, prior to the budget finance committee of the whole meeting. The chair will entertain a motion to set the canvassing board meeting. And so moved. Motion by Councillor Fuller. Second. Second. Councillor Beach. Any discussion? Hearing none. Call the question. Aye. Aye. I will vote yes. Motion carries. E zero. Any other business to come before the council? Hearing none. We will move on to reports of boards, committees, and department heads. In your packet, you have the police monthly report. Chief, did you have anything you wanted to add? Not at this time. We heard from Chief Manasso. Was there anything else you needed to add at this time? Not at this time. City Attorney. Thank you. Uh, in the process uh, of trying to wind up uh, the things that I'm doing on behalf of the city, uh, primarily the criminal end, uh, got court on Thursday, uh, having access of 50 criminal files uh, for the city that we're trying to get completed. Uh, we started the transition as of last week. Uh, Chelsea's handling any new incidents, new arrests. I'm still handling probation violations for cases that were started before by me. Uh, but anything new is that uh, Chelsea's not handling that going forward. Uh, as the date uh, this Thursday did have. Uh, Next week, uh, we're supposed to have six criminal trials, uh, but they all, uh, five of the six settled, uh, and one at the last minute requested an attorney, uh, and that attorney has requested to continue. Uh, and so that one you know, is probably going to end up on Chelsea's place after six years, uh, but that could be avoided. Uh, and then have another uh, court date in December, so I'm, I'm hoping to. Uh, Clear up as much of the old cases as I can, uh, and Chelsea's on it. Got some discussions going on uh, on the multimodal project. Uh, we had a meeting with the folks of Mary Attorney, and we're uh, putting together the uh, multi uh, uh, Looks like it's continuing to uh, move forward. Yes, thank you. A couple of items. Just a reminder to everybody that um, it is election day tomorrow. We encourage everybody to get out and vote. Our polling places are all open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
Um, you can always go to the Minnesota Secretary of State's website if anybody needs to find out where they vote. They can also call the city hall or they can call the auditor treasurer's office. So uh, we understand there's um, been a lot of early voting. The county auditor treasurer's office has been very busy with that due to the timing of the year and our um, holiday that we have in our area for this time of year. Um, also today, myself, Chief Manasa and Councillor Buller attended a committee of the whole meeting at the county in front of the committee of the whole and talked about um, requesting funding for our ambulance service for 2023 as we work through um, the steering committee to you know research the taxing district options and what our options are there and that went well today we spoke with them for about 15 to 20 minutes at, on their committee of the whole agenda and that with that there is a meeting in Duluth on next Wednesday it is hosted, it's the Future of Rural Ambulance and EMS. And it is hosted by Minnesota Ambulance Association and the Center of Rural Policy and Development. It's an hour and a half meeting. I know um, Commissioner Shoblum is gonna try to attend, but I was wondering if I could get permission for uh, the Chief Manas and I to drive down that day, if we could get an approval for that expenditure just for the day to drive down and back to be in attendance. I know he was going to speak to one of the members to see if this was going to be virtual at all, because we definitely attended virtually. But um, with the situation we're in, I think it'd be important if we were to show up besides the commissioner show blown. So just wondering if we could, you know, have approval to attend that meeting. I make motion that we approve the meeting. Motion by Council Bullard for attendance and all expenses. Agree? Yes. Second. Second. So, Beach, any discussion? I, I'm just going to say, yeah. I think that's a. I think that's super appropriate, and I think it's very important. Any further discussion? No question. Hi. All vote yes. Yes. Thank you. I have nothing further this evening. Okay. Uh, any reports for council committees, boards, and commissions? Nothing there. Okay. Correspondence. Uh, in your packets, you will find county board uh, draft minutes from October 11th and October 25th. Sorry, audience, open forum, anything there. Also, Chelsea, I see you're still in the meeting. Did you have anything to add? I don't. Thanks, though. Uh, absolutely. Sorry, I forgot you. Uh, reminders, just a quick reminder, city offices are closed for Veterans Day on Friday. Um, specials uh, meeting. Remember, we're going to uh, canvas the election results next Monday before the Committee of the Whole meeting. A uh, reminder that the next regular City Council meeting is Monday, November 21st, and that the City's uh, Truth and Taxation meeting, public hearing, and input meeting will be at 6 p.m. on Monday, December 5th, uh, 2022, following the regular City Council meeting. And final reminder to get out and vote tomorrow. This meeting is adjourned.